Okay, so the question is, can you eat your cucumber flowers or melon flowers? Pretty much almost the same thing. Can you eat the flowers? Well, let's find out. Let's see if we could find one here that I can sacrifice. Nice mail. Let's turn you around. Here's the flower. It's right off my cucumber vine. So can the question is, is can you eat this flower? I mean, if your cucumber vines aren't being pollinated and there's no insects pollinating them, well, you might as well take advantage of the flowers. Let's see if what it tastes like. You really want to get the whole flower. Hmm. Quite good, actually. There is some, uh, like, not thorns, but like firm hairs that are on it, and they kind of want to get stuck in your throat, so just got to work around it. Um, it almost tastes like a little bit like a cantaloupe melon, very slightly. There is a very, very ever so slight bit of sweetness in it, but it's very pleasant, and I really don't have any more flowers to sacrifice. Here's an older one. That's no longer being used. Cucumber vines are making a lot of cucumbers, so I don't want to pick all the male flowers off. And I have been picking them off and eating them. But most of the cucumbers up here, I've been hand pollinating most of them. Some of them are getting pollinated by like micro bees and other insects, but really not too much by bees. But here's one that's a little older and make sure there's no insects in there. Let's give that one a bite. Not quite as good, but not. I can't really taste that melon taste. It seems like when the flowers are open and fresh, that's when they're the best. Now, can you do it to the female flowers with the fruit on the other end? Probably. I, I wouldn't recommend doing that if you're trying to get cucumbers. But... Um... Trying to see if there's any more I want to sacrifice. I need a few of these flowers for tomorrow. I'm going to pollinate some more of these cucumbers. So I, I don't want to eat all the male flowers off it. But there's more coming out. It's just off this particular vine. I've been eating the flowers. I probably shouldn't have done that. <clears throat> but yes, you can eat the cucumber flowers. They're actually not that bad. Uh, other than the hairs that are on it. Those raspy little hairs. They're kind of a little bit coarse. But they don't hurt your throat or anything. <clears throat> you can't eat them and they kind of want to get stuck in your throat so to speak as you swallow it doesn't want to go down it's like swallowing sandpaper but they do taste pretty good they do taste pretty good and uh let me see if i got a melon one we can try yes i believe we do here's a melon i don't know what it is probably cantaloupe or it's probably one of these melons here let me show you Where are you? Big melon. I got a big melon in there. I don't know if you can see. I can't see it on the camera. Where are you? There it is. See that melon thing in there? A big melon hanging over there. Well, I think that's what this is. And so we'll pick one of these flowers. We'll pick, uh, I don't know, we'll pick this one. Well, it ripped part of the stem on it. Sorry about that. Anyway, that's one of the melon flowers. Let's give that one a try. Not the same thing. It is edible, but had more of a um, wild plant taste to it. <clears throat> Not really any sweetness in it either. So I probably wouldn't go eating all my melon flowers. I'd just stay with the cucumbers. But yeah, you can't eat them. They're not going to kill you or anything. But some taste better than others. So cucumber flowers, I know you can't eat those. So if you're getting a lot of male flowers instead of just picking them off. And a lot of people tell you to pick the male flowers off. 
so it encourages the female flowers to come out so if you're doing that and you're just chucking the flowers on the floor don't throw them out eat them try them they, they taste like like a cantaloupe melon a little bit very slightly very light taste all right so uh that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one